Hello everyone, this is Sun of Winter. Welcome to my new episode, Season 8, Episode 9. Back to sharing some real ghosts or haunted encounters. This time, I will bring you to Bali, Indonesia. Mm. Some of you love this place. It is a very popular tourist attraction with many interesting hands out at this place in Indonesia. But do you know black magic is common in Indonesia, even in Bali? So for today's episode, I'll be sharing an incident that happened to a friend about five years ago when she went for holidays in Kuta Beach, Bali, in Indonesia. Have you heard of that before? She was hoping for a relaxing and lazy holiday with her boyfriend. But little did she know, Kuta Beach, Bali, Indonesia, offered her more than what she wanted. Okay, I'm going to give a fake name to conceal her identity. She is called Amy in this series. Amy decided to visit Kuta Beach in Bali, Indonesia, when she actually had a very cheap offer for airplane tickets from her boss, who happened to win the tickets to Bali from a credit card company. So sometimes when you spend a lot on a certain credit card, you will earn credits. Uh, for example, earn miles, which could earn you some free tickets at times. So Amy and her boyfriend were very excited for this trip because it was their first trip together as a couple. So on the first day in the hotel, nothing unusual happened. They were very careful with the people and things they bought as some of her friends had already warned her the use of black magic in Indonesia. So be very careful when you're there not to buy things randomly, okay? So her friends actually warned her that black magic is common in Indonesia. So they were very cautious about it. So they did have a great time window shopping at some street markets, went for spa and get some massage at the beach. However, things went for a turn on their last night in Kuta, Bali. They were walking along a deserted road when a lady appeared out of nowhere and offered to tie her long hair into cute little pleats for a minimum price. However, Amy refused and quickly walked off. As she walked past the lady, the lady actually pulled her hair and she may obtain some hair from Amy. The lady was very persistent in pursuing Amy to buy her service. And at that night, strange things start to happen. Amy and her boyfriend quickly fell asleep because they need to catch the plane back home the very next morning. After some time, Amy fell asleep, but as soon as she fell asleep, she saw a white shadow coming very fast towards her. Her eyes were actually closed, but she could sense this white shadow rushing towards her. She opened her eyes and saw nothing. She thought it was just a dream. And then she continued to sleep. That again, the white shadow continued to flow towards her. This time, she screamed. Her boyfriend woke up and heard her story and thought maybe it was because she's facing a balcony. So she asked her to turn to another side and try to sleep. But the white shadow appeared again as soon as she shut her eyes. After that, they decided to stay awake with the lights on. But this is not over yet. After she came back to Singapore, stranger things happened. She started to feel very nauseous, dizzy. Okay, that was the first experience when she came back. So she thought it was just maybe um, common flu or what. Yeah, so... Okay, she just disregarded it because uh, it could be just um, she may not have a good sleep because she was thinking about the shadow. So it will affect her mentally. 
Then after that, she started to vomit and had lost appetite for food. So whatever food she ate, whatever drink, even plain water, she vomited out everything. So she started to see a doctor to access what happened to her. So the doctor says she could have vertigo. Uh, she could have um, some problem with um, her sleep. Or uh, it could be she stress. Okay, so the doctor gave her some medicine to control her dizziness and control uh, to prevent her from puking la, so that she can consume some food to get some energy. But things doesn't improve. It lasted for about one to two weeks. Okay, she still feel dizzy. The medicine doesn't help much. It helped a bit, but she still feel very weak. Um. Though now she don't really see the white shadow, she felt extremely uh, sick and she lost a lot of weight. Then the boyfriend and her family decided to bring her to a BOMO okay, to assess what happened. So they went to see the BOMO and realized that, oh, she was under black magic. Okay? So her hair was actually taken off in Bali and because she refused the service of that lady, so she was cursed. Okay? So the white shadow was actually a spirit that followed her. And it is the cause of her sicknesses, of her headache, dizziness, and poor appetite, and vomiting. So um, there was some prayer ritual done. Okay? to remove the curse or the so-called black magic from her. And things gradually improve. Now she's totally fine, but she will always remember this episode. So the lesson learned is be very careful when you're overseas. Um, you never know that you may be cursed upon or some black magic may be done on you. So if let's say you have someone who approach you to want to offer a service, don't be so rude and reject their service. Ah. Give it to them. If not, something worse will happen to you. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you like my channel. It's a very short um, presentation. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. And I see you in the next episode. Please, please I'll remember to um, subscribe and click. Okay. Thank you.